Okay, for one more time, I totally dislike how Ubuntu instead of contributing to GTK, a community project that moreover their REST stack is dependent upon, they are actually switching to Flutter. That said, still curious to check out how their installer is getting, and I thought to screencast it, so you won't have to try it. We've been around six weeks before the official release, so I guess we're almost on a UI freeze, so the current installer should be identical with the stable. By the way, that image is still on GNOME 44, but if we update after the installation, we'll get the GNOME 45. And speaking of updates, a super cool thing is that the installer will auto-update, so we always get the most stable experience possible, no matter the image date. Ha! I totally jinxed it. Actually, we're fine. Wasn't the installer that crashed, so I guess we can continue, but we'll continue off vocal. Oh, only this. Just to say how upset I am they removed the minimal installation. Bye-bye for now. Okay, and now we are in, and we are in GNOME 45, that we can easily tell by the new activities button. Checking on apps, and I see stuff are kept pretty minimal here. For example, there is not an office suite pre-installed, so I'm taking back my upsetting about the drop of minimal option from the installer. And next we have to check if Ubuntu updated the files, because there is always a bit of suspicion on that matter, even if later things are back to normal. But all cool, cause this is definitely Files 45, with its new fancy sidebar. Oh, and you know what other super core module got a new fancy sidebar? The Settings app of course, and this is also fully updated. And one super quick look with the light theme. But as it always happens, we'll go back to dark.